yo, 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 yo. What's up, bitches and G's? Let's settle for a parlay. Oh my God, what's happening? Frank, when I was your age, well, I mean, actually, probably a similar age, when we were the same age, I used to run with a crew. She. Them some crazy ass hoes. Yeah, properties. Martin Wickers, stop right there. What the Charlie Dickens is that? The solution to all our money problems. Behold the seg desk. It's pending patent approval, but trust me, I'm standing on the next Dyson. Wonders never cease. Maybe you should give up this teaching lark and become a full-time bona fide inventor. You know what, maybe I should. Hang on, I know what you're trying to do, you sly old shit. Guilty as charged, my lad. <laughs> anyway, sadly, there's only one very obvious candidate for redundancy. And he came from in your bowls. He gosh darn dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the school governors want me to saddle up my ass and sacrifice my only son. I just pray Alfie can keep that class under control. Hold him still! Fraser? Father? Ready for your appraisal, Smoocher? Yep, just as soon as I've washed the word twat off my forehead. <laughs> yep, that should do it. Dad, you do realise if you fire me, I won't be able to pay my rent. You'll be homeless and back in that smelly car. Which is why it's important that you stay focused. Right, um, Mr Wickers, what's your biggest weakness? Honestly? This is a safe space. Please, truthfully, your biggest weakness. Truthfully? Probably poppers. <laughs> Every time. Miss Gulliver, your biggest weakness? Nothing. What's unique about you? I'm completely blind in one eye. Yep, absolutely no depth of vision. The answer is, of course, my unique sense of humour. And with that, my work here is done. Mr Fraser, can you sit back down? Yes, sir, Bob. What's your greatest achievement? Nearly had a threesome on holiday. Oh, yes, you've rather lost touch with Atticus Hoy and his brother. No, I meant on my gap year. My biggest regret. Mm. I used to say the N-word at least a hundred times a day. N-word this, N-word that. It was a real buzzkill. And then one day I vowed never again to say the word N-O. The N-word is no. Yep. Since then, everyone at Abbey Grove has been forbidden from ever saying the word no to anything. Except all of the girls. Oh, come on, Rosie. What's been your proudest moment as a teacher? This. Describe yourself in one word. Succeedophile. Sorry? You heard me right, madame. I am a massive, unrepentant succeedophile, and you better put me on the goddamn register, sister, because I will reoffend. At succeeding. What's your greatest ambition? Probably another threesome. Let's rein in the honesty a tad, shall we? Maybe your ambition is to get some of your pupils into Oxbridge. Ha! Oxbridge. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Very good, Alf. But uh, there's actually nothing wrong with Form K. I believe there have been tests. Many, many tests. And there may be some people who believe the problem lies elsewhere. And they're saying that you're feckless, childish and incompetent. I'm not feckless. I've got loads of feck. I'm a fecking mother fecker. So why don't you three just back the feck off? You're not helping yourself. Wait. You want to fire me? Of course I don't want to fire you, but you're leaving me with no choice. I'm your son. Not at school, Mr Wickers. We're colleagues. For now. Et tu, father. The teachers of Abbey Grove are on strike. We will not return to work until you promise job security for every single member of staff. Alfie, don't go with her. Stay and fight for your job. Whose side are you on, Alfie? He's always been confused about which side he's on. One minute he's holding hands with Alice Plemons, the next I catch him ramming pogs up Atticus Hoy's... Right to the barricades! Just a quick one. Teachers still get paid on strike, right?
As Britain's youngest headmaster, I have to be everywhere at once, in lessons, in the staff room, occasionally in court, but always in high spirits. <laughs> How do I do this, I hear you ask? I give you... the future. Versatile. Versatile. I want those reports on my desk by end of play today. Still working. Fast, quiet and efficient, the SEG desk has all the attributes of a Victorian lover. So hop on one today. Rosie, what I'm about to do doesn't mean that I don't support you. And I still think that my dad's being a dick. But I need to think about my kids. I'm putting an end to this strike. I'm crossing the picket line and I'm negotiating. I'm sorry. Stop! Alfie! You can't let them win! Come back! Ah, you finally come to your senses. Judas! 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 that I can get everyone back into school, then that's the way it's got to be. You don't have to. We can break them. How long's that gonna take? Days? Weeks? I can't risk that. My kids need to be learning and that's not gonna happen out here. No, sir. You can't quit. No, Chantelle. You deserve a better teacher. Maybe this is for the best. So, Dad, reluctantly, I take this redundancy. The strike's over. just did showed real courage. I hope I proved a point. This whole thing was getting completely out of hand. Thankfully now, we can all go back to normal. <laughs> Good old Alfie, joking to the last. We're gonna miss you, son. Miss me? <laughs> well, you did just resign. Yeah, but I mean, I was kind of only doing the whole I quit thing to show everyone how ludicrous the whole situation was. I didn't actually have to lose my job, do I? But I've still got to find the money from somewhere. And I did plead with the governors, but they were going to insist I sack you anyway. If only you'd shown this pluck during your review, instead of all that guff about threesomes. If it's any consolation, you've saved me a lot of soul-searching. Look, I photographed this text message on Miss Gulliver's phone so she couldn't delete it before I confronted her. It's to some guy called Orlando. Can't wait for BDSM tonight. I love my bondage and my freedom. What does BDSM even mean? Bondage, domination and sadomasochism. Shut up, Mitchell. Trust me, sir, I've watched a lot of porn. I'm sure there's a totally logical explanation why she's texting some random guy about bondage. Why don't you just ask her? What, sit her down and have an honest conversation with her? <clears throat> Grow up, mate. Look it up, BDSM. My bondage and my freedom. I recognise that. What the hell? Cool rem dog. Your mum's putting a lot of strain on that harness. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she thinks I'm a prude. Have I driven her to this? Calm down, sir. Here's what you need to do. Alfie, I don't remember inviting you. So, before we plunge in, maybe the newest member of our clandestine cabal could introduce himself. We'll be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Alfie. I am into fetish play, uh, light spanking and threesomes. If another dude's involved, then preferably Rosie will be holding my hand. I brought a paddle. And uh, remember, guys, dorm rules. It's not gay if there's no eye contact. 
Well, this fortnight we read My Bondage and My Freedom, a heart-wrenching account of slavery by Frederick Douglass. BDSM. Book Discussion Society Maudlin. I'll go. So, it turns out my bondage and my freedom is a book. By Frederick Douglass. And you have recognised it. In the nick of time. Now Miss Gulliver's staying with a friend. And I know it's that douchebag Orlando. Listen, Sam Cam, whining like a bitch ain't gonna make it better. But revenge might. Where's Mitchell? I'm gonna mess him up. Fraser, we need to turn the playground into a paddock. Well, we do need dollar. Dollar is what we need. But fear not, I have a new initiative. I'm renting out rooms after school. The library is being used by Miss Gulliver's book group. Oh. I told her it might be double booked, but she cracked the whip. Please stop. The safe word's banter. Banter. Consider me gagged and bound. A Mr Hitchell Marper is renting out the school hall for a retirement party. Right. And I bags you the gym for my LARPing crew. LARPing? Live action role play. Picture a ragtag gang of shaggers and legends doing battle dressed as dwarves, orcs, elves and wizards. Legends. Shaggers. Do you want in? I think I'll give it a miss. LARPing came in on my bucket list just below drinking a gallon of urine or dying of leprosy. But I've told the lads all about you. They're desperate to meet my best friend. <laughs> best friend. OK. You know all that paperwork winging its way down from Tory HQ? The 25-page document I need to complete on making the kids' handwriting look more British. I will make that form and all the others disappear if you get your LARP on. Why are you whispering? I think Gove had the room bugged. Sneaky. What are you doing tonight? It's, it's just my leaving party. Can you come? I don't know, innit? Maybe. Look, I just wondered if you fancied... No, if... If you had a type... ..of pizza, what you go for? Yeah. Every girl's got their type. See, I like my pizzas what are hot. Yep. With lots of dough. All right. Minimum 12 inches. Oh. What have their own car and don't live in a shitty caravan with their fam. Fam. I don't think Domino's do that one. What about our personal statements? Park those. This is way more important. Right. Ying, you're going to take chapter two. Stephen, chapter three. Mitchell, chapter four. Chantel, chapter five. And Joe's going to bring it on home with the anchor leg. Only if you help me out first. Fine, but I won't lie in court and I refuse to handle stolen goods. Oh, Cleo's paying and this part is the last opportunity I'm going to have to pull her. She thinks I'm about as sexy as a in a lift. Well, to turn a phrase like that, I'm amazed she can resist you. I'll help you, babe. We all will. I've seen this a million times. Boy wants to go way out of his league. It's got super sweet 16 written all over it. Stephen's right. You've got to look your best tonight. Don't take this wrong way, but does your dad have a court suit? Yeah, used to be his likely suit. What happened? Got found guilty. Mm. Perfect suit, so won't be needing it. If you're going for the suit, you might as well go the whole hog, as the toilet attendants do say, no spray, no lay. Where am I going to find pepper spray? What? No, aftershave. To stand a chance with Cleo, this party has got to be fierce. I'm talking hot tub. Not going to happen. Strippers, no way. Vocaluge? It's a school. Lap dancers. You're obsessed. You better be there tonight, Dickers. Bring the ball and chain. And the gag and the whip. Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo, but I just wanted to say that while well, I may not have a car or 12 inches, I'll probably like an eight minimum. Wait, no. Can I start again? If I kiss you, will you shut up? Forever. Right, not sex. I'm off. How'd it go with Cleo? Amazing. She said I was the worst kisser she's ever had. And I got a lob on. <laughs> TMI. But if I promise not to brag about it on Facebook, she said she'll go Nando's with me. Well done, mate. I'm happy for you. 
We all are. Babe, we're gonna miss you so much. God, I hate goodbyes. Joe, mate, if I ever said mean things to you, it was just banter. The best thing you can do is grow up, make loads of bunts, get a proper fit bird, and make me look like a muppet. Dickers. I used to think there were two types of teachers, the assholes and the tragedies. You're an exception. If I saw you on the street, I wouldn't shout obscenities at you. I'd go for a pint with you. And tell you you was a to your face. Thank you, Mitchell. That's the most beautiful thing anyone has ever said to me. I heard that posh people are emotionally undernourished, but you are something else. Remdog? This could be hard, seeing as you don't talk anymore. And I know you've become a bit of a weirdo this term, but you'll always be my best mate. And when you're out of this phase, you give me a bell. We go to Mackie D's, throw tampons at traffic wardens, just like old times. Bye, guys. Mitchell! I love you. <laughs> wait, wait. Mr. Wickers, we've received some noise complaints. <laughs> One last prank, is it, Mitchell? Have I been a naughty boy, officer? You're going to punish me with your truncheon? Sir. Let's get this over and done with. <laughs> When I said obstacles, I meant, like, a few hurdles. The most brutal obstacle course known to man. You know, I've got a truckload of attack dogs coming, too. Attack dogs? And how do you plan to control a, a pack of attack dogs with children? You've got a tranquilizer gun. Of course you do. Um, is, is that legal? No, it's a grey area. Dick up, Chinny. That cat guzzling old goat will faint just looking at this. Or oh, my name's not Preet, Cornelius, Henny Henwig, Hoyt de Toit, Goosen Hoosen, Tabacta Blanche, Best of and Vuta van der Plessy. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to test his endurance, but this could actually kill me. As I told my soulmate the night I tattooed his back with barrel ink and a red hot needle, pain is temporary, glory is forever. TIA, bro, this is Africa! Yeah, TIT, this is Tring. <laughs> On your mark! Come on, Chantel! Yes, sir! Right, you help me win this, I'll let you touch my tip. Go! On your mark! Get set! beat Grayson. This was a stupid idea. But the Olympic breakfast! Forget the breakfast, Alfie. Joe, remember what I said. When you hit a barrier, you don't stop. You power on through. That's how you're going to beat Grayson. That, and by making sure you run in lane three. I don't get it. Just trust me. Shut your eyes and run like the time you got the shits on the cutty sock. To Joe. Good luck, Grayson. Cadell! <laughs> hey, Shrek, smile for the camera. This is going on YouTube. <laughs> Looks angry. On your marks. Get set! Go! Been for an age. 
think you're taking him steroids, you. Jay's not on steroids. I weakened his hurdles. out <laughs> eventually <laughs> <Jump! laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wickers don't move that fast since he found me lying on his desk wearing nothing but a sushi platter. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. <laughs> Granny in the thong. Adrian Charles is banter. <laughs> Pickles on the sh <laughs> Ian Beal crying. <laughs> Come on up, mate! Lee's not on the monkey bars. God, no, not on the monkey bars. Commando crawl the last bit. Is he wearing a little plow? I can't watch. Richard's gonna catch him. Oh, no, you don't. I'll go to Moffy. Shall go to the ball. Steady. Not breathing. I'll have to give him mouth to mouth. Oh. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. <gasps> Teach me everything you know. Alfie, why have you. Before everyone thinks I'm a massive weirdo. A bit late for that, bro. I cheated, okay? Or at least. I tried to cheat. I thought Richard was on steroids because I found these blue pills in his bag, but they weren't steroids, they were Viagra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Viagra? Uh, why why Rosie, does Richard Rosie, have... Rosie, it's not what you... Um, um, I, I, I would hate for you to presume that... that, that but, 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 well... <laughs> plan to succeed. Ooh! Rosie, I did. <laughs> if you say I told you so, you'll get one of those as well. Excuse me, please. Rosie, no, 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 no Rosie, wait, please. Yeah, I win. Do you, though? Really? Could someone maybe cover that up? Yo, 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 yo! What's up, f***ing and G's? Let's settle for a parlay. Oh, my God, what's happening? Frank, when I was your age... Well, I mean, actually, probably a similar age. When we were the same age, I used to run with a crew. She... Them some crazy ass homes. Something tells me Atticus Hoy is involved. For real? Me and Hoi Z, we once done a burglary together. What was you stealing? Turds? <laughs> <laughs> nah, apples. Scrumping was a risky beers back in the day. Once got cornered by a farmer packing heat. Yeah, horse chestnut branch. Yay big. We legged it, but then got cornered by the pigs. You got arrested. Nah, actual pigs. They charged us in their sty. We got covered in mud. Me and Atticus had to strip off and wash each other down in the stream. She? This is worse than the time you rubbed noses with my father. Hey, Biggie, can you shoot pack? Frank, life is like a game of chess. But the game is bullshit, yeah? So why are we so blind to see that the ones we hurt are you and me? <laughs> Cheers, Coolio. That was relatively entertaining. I'm gonna go and talk to the library. <sighs> no, Frank, please. <sighs> I promised Miss Gulliver that I would reform you, so... Could you just not be a dick for, like, six hours? What was I thinking? I can't set fire to the library. I left my lighter in that car I jacked. 
You can enter a locked car, take something from it, like, say, a mobile phone, and then lock it back up again so that no one knows you've been there. Does your dad stink of shit? Here's a little curveball. How about we use your powers for good? Alfie, please tell me you don't want Frank to break into a car. Obviously not, Joe. I want him to break into an ambulance. You're breaking the law, sir. It's a crime of passion, Chantel. Love does not answer to petty laws, rules and regulations. I knew you'd see the light. Uh, no physical contact. Remember, don't break the six-inch rule. Oh, I won't, sir. You look at eight or a nine. Bingo. Yes. Quick rummage round, then I'll pop you back on the straight and narrow. <laughs> this car smells of granddads. <sighs> Alfie, you can't go through someone's private messages. Uh, freedom of information. We deserve to know the truth, Joe. This is Wicker's leaks. Information belongs to everyone. Damn! No texts. <sighs> Off you go, then. I'm gonna take her out for a quick spin. What? Uh no, you're on the road to redemption, remember? Uh, sir? Uh, don't worry, I've got this covered. There. Six children are locked into this vehicle. None of them are wearing seatbelts. What's your point? Ah, come on, Frank. You're a tyke, a cheeky chappy, but there is no way that you would actually put our lives at risk. Checkmate, my friend. Check. Bloody mate. Ah! Stop right now! Ah! Frank! Ah! 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 Please! This isn't quite what I had in mind. Anyone got a light? Right, after this, it's straight back to school. I've got a liar to expose. Pod. No, Miss Gulliver. Come on, Ying. Like you've never torched an ambulance before. Right. I think we're done here. Let's go find a bus stop. You lied to me! You haven't changed. That hug meant nothing. Ah, uh, don't cry about it, Downton. Right, if you don't give me that cash box right now, I'm gonna... You're what? You touch me, and I'll tell everyone you're a pedo. Oh, Frank, you've been held back so many years, I doubt you're even underage. Now, give me that cash box. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Sorry, I don't know what's keeping them. I can't believe that you did this. No, Alfie, you mustn't blame yourself. You couldn't reform Frank. You were out of your depth. Whoa, sorry. You think Frank was trying to steal this money? After all those things he said about me basically being Jesus? He lied to you, Alfie. He lied to everyone. There's only one liar in this room, and it's not Frank. Well, then why was the door crowbarred open? Because he was so bloody desperate to give that money to poor old Pod. Alfie, lying on Frank's behalf could make you an accomplice. Oh, so what, you think I'm just going to sell my pal Frank down the river? Haven't you heard of honour amongst non-thieves? I would have to be the most disloyal, cowardly, treacherous... You could go to prison. Frank did it. You're dead, you rat. Martin? Oh, the reception's a bit patchy in here. So you're going to hold it half a foot closer to the satellite? Well, you're right. I'm being stupid. OK, will you stay here and look after Frank? We're going to have to deal with this after the presentation, which we're late for. I just hope Fraser's entertaining them. Should we get started? <laughs> Did somebody die? You could say that. OK, so we're gathered here today to honour a very special man, Pod. Thanks to the money that we as a school have raised, 
Pod is going to be able to travel to Las Vegas. Stop! You can't go on with this. Right, this isn't Runaway Bride. Pod's a fraud. We've been over this, Stephen. He's not a fraud. We saw him walking near the shopping centre this afternoon. On my life. But that's on the other side of town. Why were you there? Um... You know the way they found Richard III in a car park? Well, I had seen a speed bump that looked incredibly like Henry VIII. We stole an ambulance and went for a joyride. <gasps> yeah, thanks, Joe. You what? Alfie, you lied to me. Yeah, well, you're hardly one to talk. Why do you keep saying that? Uh, sort your drums out later. I wore a chug of bib for this monster. You hold your tongue, Stephen. For the hundredth time, because of me, Pod is paralysed from the waist down. And for the millionth time, no, he's not. He's a fake. Oh, he's faking it. Is he ying? Well, how come, if he's faking it, when I do this, <laughs> he doesn't feel a thing? I'll tell you why. Because he <laughs> is paralysed. He wins. He didn't wince. Yes, he did. You lay little bitch. How dare you call Pod a bitch? Oh, for God's sake. Stop it! Stop it! Pod, how could you? Where does blame does it claim? I wiped your bottom. <laughs> Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair tring, where we set our scene. Ancient grudges have been forgot thanks to these star-crossed lovers. Oh, I love it when you quote old sh Mucha, how's your breakfast? Frank cooked it special, you know, to say sorry for all them practical jokes. Stop being mean to Alfie, ain't you, Frank? Oh, yeah. Yes, he has. <laughs> no more pubes on my toothbrush. Oh, I know you two was going to get on. Ding dong. All passengers for Posh Paws Pet Salon, please disembark. Woof woof. <laughs> oh, Martin, you're so funny. <laughs> say goodbye to Daddy Coco. <laughs> Bye-bye, Coco. Oh, come here, you big Uncle Man. Please don't. Oh, God. Oh. You put them in my sandwich, didn't you? Do you know why I have summoned you here to the Embassy of Bantartica? To tell him to dump Grayson's mum? No, although, as Headmaster Martin, I am formally obligated to remind you that you are seriously punching above your ruddy weight. What's your secret? I'm like the Tory party. I perform very well down south. Right, you shut up. You, why are we here? The local education authority have forced me to run background checks on the staff. Boring.com forward slash bullshit. However, in the ramage, I have discovered Alf's guilty little secret. Oh, God, is this about my Harry Potter audition? Alf got down to the final three, just pipped at the post by Emma Watson. I'm talking about your GCSE biology or absence thereof. Oof. The GCSE story. Let me dust off me old book of yarns. <coughs> <coughs> Get on with it. It was young Alf's GCSE term, and he was having to deal with some pretty brutal bullying. His mother and I never got to the bottom of why they picked on him. Alfie was also struggling with biology. Luckily, though, Alf wasn't the only neglected soul at the school. A friendship was born. That young janitor from Boston taught Alf everything he knew. Come his exam, he was brimming with confidence. What happened? He got a U. Hmm. Turned out the janitor didn't know anything about biology, or much else for that matter. The man had an IQ of 40. He was tutoring Alfie in a strain of pataphysics he claimed a lizard had taught him in a dream. So what? I failed an exam like seven years ago. I suppose now you're going to tell me that I'm not allowed to teach anymore. Yes, I am. I can't employ you without your core GCSEs. You're going to have to sit biology along with the other candidates. Me? Do an exam with the kids? But I haven't done biology since I was, like, 16. Well, I tell you what, I could probably give you an A to Z on the P's and Q's of the birds and bees. Right. Anything but that. <gasps> Alfie Wickers, can you concentrate, please? Can I go to the loo? It's may I go to the loo, and no, you can't because you've already been three times. Now, <sighs> carbon dioxide plus water equals glucose at... Yes, Alfie? Can... Sorry, may you teach me the equation of how to cook crystal meth? 
just in case I fail the exam. Well, you won't fail if you concentrate. Uh, miss, when do we get to see a f***? If you ask nicely, maybe your brother will let you see his. <laughs> Settle down, please. He ain't my brother. Sorry, can I just point out I don't have a f***? Why have you predicted us all A-stars, miss? Because, Joe, nothing is more powerful than self-belief. Yeah, but Rosie, in Joe's defence, he's about as likely to get an A-star as he is to win rear of the year. <laughs> in my defence? Joe's right. When we crash and burn, our events are going to be Mucho sad face. Other than Ying's, obviously. Yeah, obviously, Ying's going to get 10 A-stars and a scholarship to an all-girls private school. So, obviously, Ying's going to be fine. Sorry, babe. It's not your fault. My parents are obsessed with me getting this scholarship. Remember, Ying, parents only want what's best for you. Yeah, I mean, parents always say that. But sometimes what parents actually want is really, really sh** for everyone involved. You say my mum ain't good enough for your saggy brother, Dad. <laughs> no, Frank. What I'm saying is that when my father is motorboating your ridiculously titted dog-bothering mother over breakfast, that perhaps they don't have our best interests at heart. You leave Coco out of this. Who the hell is Coco? The rat his mother keeps in her handbag. Coco is a pedigree chihuahua. Probably the ugliest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm warning you. It looks a bit like someone glued some whiskers onto a junkie's scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why? I hid in the Levis photos. <laughs> but they're individual portraits. Look, Fraser, if you promise not to go crazy, then we can have a grown-up discussion about my P45. Alfie, I've just spoken to Martin. You can't leave Abby Grove. You're a great teacher. But I want to be a great boyfriend, Rosie. You gave me a second chance. I'm not going to throw that away. Hi, Rosie. I punched my reflection. Alfred, I've had a quiet think about your moment of madness. And I'm willing to forgive you if you agree to stay on at Abbey Grove. Goodbye, guys. I see. Would you excuse me? Alfie, what will you do? Rosie, I'm a young, self-motivated, Highly qualified professional. Trust me, I'm going to be beating off the job offers with a shitty stick. She says, I think it's MDF. And I'm like, what are you going on about? You're going to need some primer. And she says, I think I need some paint. I'm like, no, you don't. You need primer, <laughs> you stupid <laughs> sir. <laughs> Silly bin. <laughs> yeah, what a dumb bitch. Here's one you lads will like. This geezer asked me for the strength of a torch in candles. <laughs> really thought that would elicit more of a titter. Staff calls, village in the bathroom section. <laughs> oh, that poor old dear thought one of the display toilets was real. Who's the unlucky b gets to clean that up? It's me, isn't it? I'm the unlucky b By the way, let me know if you're up for a few jars after work. Pencil you in as maybes. Oh my god. The lads I work with are amazing. <laughs> already planning a boys weekend in Marbs. And to think I became a teacher because I struggled to form lasting friendships with people my own age. Sorry, let me just go back a few steps. You're working in a... PlayStation game testing factory. What kind of stuff do you do? Well, I shouldn't really be telling you this, but we are developing a new button, the hexagon. Wow. Yeah. Wait. But enough about me. What about you guys? Stephen, you got a date yet? None of the boys here can handle a real woman. You've got to come to the prom, sir. I can't. I don't work here anymore. You know the right. Hello, Judas. Thought you'd be hanging from a tree by now. 
What's it like at the PlayStation factory? No, Fraser, stay strong. I blocked you on Facebook. I think it's for the best. Fraser, we weren't lovers. Didn't want you getting Facebook envy of me and my new best friend, Mr. Heather. This guy's banter is off the chain. Do I have to wear this shirt? I'm getting a rash. Me and my home slice gonna smoke bare sticky icky hand bongs in these bad boys. I can't smoke, I'm asthmatic. Oh, Kareem Abdul Bantar! Just slam dunked another basket, lol. I miss you every day. I'm it, Fraser. Well, as you're no longer a member of staff, I must ask you to Alf Wiedersehen. Bothered? We have Subway for lunch every day at PlayStation HQ. The land of milk and honey. What do you think about coming to prom, Alfie? Look, Joe, maybe it's best if we all move on. Come on, guys! Huh? Hey! Who wants to spike Fraser's calibre? Or we can have a dance-off and really lose our dignity. Oh, come on, everyone make a circle around me! You came. Sir, it's the last song. Can we guys say goodbye to our classroom? Go on. They need you. Another beer, sir? I better not. Don't want to set a bad example. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too late for that. <sighs> Go on, then. Sir, we wanted to give you something. I know I've been dropping hints all term, but you haven't actually bought me a hot tub, have you? The best gifts aren't bought in a shop. They're homemade. Eh. We made you a slideshow of photos. Oh, God. It's not like the last slideshow you made for me. If it is, I will probably have to destroy it. No. It's of all of us. Here at school. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. Sir, you know if you stayed on as a teacher, it'd make it easier for us to come and visit you. I just don't think I can, Stephen. But you're the best teacher in the world, sir. If I'm so good, then how come my entire class are leaving after GCSEs? I think on paper that constitutes a pretty crap teacher. But school's not just about the tests and the exams and the grades. Yeah, on paper, we probably have a terrible education. Our GCSE results are going to be rubbish. Hey, we don't know that. Yeah, I mean, they're probably not going to be great. But none of that makes you a bad teacher. When I first came to this school, I sort of knew who I was, deep down. But I was scared of being that person. Stephanie. No, Stephen. The boy who does the splits in the canteen. The one-man glee. I'll sing it from the rooftops. I am Stephen Carmichael. You made me not give a shit about this, even though my mum b****ed you when you made me play a tank in Class Wars. It was the first time that I actually thought having a chair was boss. Why do you think I flirted with you, sir? You're the first guy who actually liked me for who I was. The flirting was just because I didn't know how to handle being appreciated. You don't realise it, Alfie, but... You're that teacher. The one who talks to us like we're adults. The one who always helps us, no matter what. You're the teacher that makes us feel good about ourselves for things that other people don't even notice. And that's why you're the teacher we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And if you stopped being a teacher, then I'd feel guilty for all the kids who never got to be taught by Alfie Wickers. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, all of you. I've got to go. Mum's here. Bye, Sarah. I never realised just how horrible that shade of yellow was. Safe, yeah? Don't know. See you later, sir. 